Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Review Stuff. And today I am going to be comparing the Burger King Veggie Burger to the White Castle Impossible Slider. So, I had gotten a lot of recommendations from people to try out the, veg the new, I guess it's new, the new Veggie Burger from Burger King. And I knew that they had a Veggie Burger like through the years, other people had told me about it. But apparently now it's on the menu. I did not see it on the menu when I drove through. I had to ask for it. And she was like, yeah, we have it, we have it. So anyway, I thought, um, so many people had recommended to me to do a review because I've been a vegetarian now for over a year. They recommended for me to do the Burger King Veggie Burger review or to review the Burger King Veggie Burger. And I thought, well, instead of just reviewing the Burger King one, why don't I also review the White Castle Impossible Slider that just came out. So that's what I'm gonna do. No, this is not a, this is not a mukbang, but I am gonna be eating both of them and um, kind of comparing the two. Now, a lot of you don't have White Castle where you live, I know that. Um, White Castle is very similar to uh, Crystal if you live in the South, and um, they're sliders, it's the home of the slider. Kind of a funny story, um, on the 17th of this month, I will have been sober for, if I make it there, 23 years and 10 months, uh, but back in the day when I used to uh, drink a little bit, drink a lot, uh, White Castle was one of my favorite foods, and I would go through there late at night and I would eat, and I was actually just talking about that on my vlog the other night. So, let's just dive right into this, um, because I am forever on a diet, even though I'm <laughs> doing a fast food review, um, I got a Diet Coke from Burger King. I find that at White Castle, their sodas suck. I can't stand them. I think they taste flat. I don't like them. So, let's get right into this. I've actually done, I always put my food on this little white plate. I've actually done uh, mukbangs before, so this is more of a comparison study. Um, and I did it outside because it's plant-based, why wouldn't I? Actually, the Impossible Sliders from uh, White Castle, I was just reading the sign, they have like 14 different kinds of plant-based things in them. I think there's something like 290 calories and then there's like some kind of special cheese on that. So, let's get right into this. I also got fries from both places to show you. Um, this is actually, let's get right into this, okay. Napkins, we, you need napkins. You don't wanna be a mess when you eat. Should I do this? <laughs> Should I do this? Okay. The veggie burger, and I said to her, I go, what, what does it have on it? And she's like, it's very similar to the Whopper. And I was like, okay, because I used to love the Whopper back in the day. And in fact, one of the things I miss is the Whopper from Burger King, but since I'm a vegetarian now, I can't have that. So, it looks absolutely nothing like a Whopper. <laughs> nothing like a Whopper whatsoever. It looks, when I open it, it almost kind of looked like a chicken sandwich. Do you see? Okay. <laughs> it looks like a veggie burger. It doesn't look like a Whopper. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't look anything like a Whopper. I don't know what she's talking about. So here it is. Here, I'll hold it up next to the plate so y'all can see it. <laughs> and on it, there is special sauce, <laughs> mayonnaise, um, lettuce, tomato. This is feeling more and more like a mukbang all the time. Okay. So that's the Burger King one. And then I got Burger King fries. So we'll put those over here. Just a few of them, just a few to try them out. I was actually gonna do another review today of a must have holiday item, but I was like, the weather is so beautiful outside. I'm taking this off. I was like, the weather is so beautiful outside today. Why not do a review outside? And now it's supposed to rain. So I'm trying to get this done before it starts raining. See what I do for these reviews, what lengths I go to, okay. It's actually right now, it's like 50 degrees and it's freezing outside. So, here are, if you've never seen White Castles, they, I call them White Castles. I add S to everything. I call Walmart, the Walmart, Meyer, the Meyer, Target. I always put a the in everything and I add an S to everything. That's just how I do it. So anyway, they always come in these little boxes. So here's little fries and this is, this is a White Castle fry. It's so cold out here. And this is a Burger King fry, do you see? Crinkly, not crinkly. I'm not really a big fan of Burger King fries, actually. I really, really like McDonald's fries at the best. And then here are the two, I don't know why I got, oh. They look horrible. <laughs> they look absolutely horrible. Look at that, it doesn't look delicious at all. Who'd wanna eat that? And I got cheese on it. Is there no cheese on it? No, there's cheese, okay. So, 
This is what the burger looks like when you get it. It's really hard to make a veggie burger look pretty. It really, really is, okay? I've had veggie burgers at lots of restaurants. Actually, Cheesecake Factory has a really, really good bean burger that I like. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like. This is the little slider. So if you go to White Castle, you get that, and this is what the uh, supposed, like, almost Whopper. It's not, like, a Whopper at all. That's a trick. Do you see? Okay, so there's the two. Here's my thumbnail. <laughs> Okay, um, so then when you open it, when you open it, it falls apart, basically. It's falling apart already, and I'm shaking because it's so cold out here. And it has pickles on it and cheese, and yeah, and that's what it looks like. You can still see, I just got it. It's still kind of steaming a little bit. Can you guys see that? Okay, so... And here's another slider right here. They come in these little things, see? And the thing that's so great about this is that then when you're done eating... You can like put the boxes inside of each other like this. Clean up as you go. You want to clean up as you go like this. Now listen, I will tell you this, okay? A lot of people think that uh, White Castles is disgusting and they're like, oh, that's drunk food. People that only eat that are drunk. Well, I've been eating it for 23 years. Even when I stopped drinking, I kept on eating it because I love White Castles. And I'm telling you right now, if it's only for drunk people, there's a lot of drunk people at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday because there was a line. I had to wait, not in, the, not in the waiting parking space number one, but in the waiting parking space number two. Oh, speaking of which, okay. Let's talk about the prices, the overpricedness of all this kind of stuff, okay? <sighs> Breathe. Okay, the veggie burger at uh, Burger King was $3.19. I actually don't think that's pretty, that's too bad because Burger King's expensive anyway. So $3.19 plus 30 cents for the American cheese brings it to $3.49 for the veggie burger. Okay, medium fries were $1.89. So a medium fry is almost <laughs> like three, like two-thirds of the price of a veggie burger, and then a medium Diet Coke was $1.89. I don't know how they come up with these prices. A, a fr medium fry and a Diet Coke would both be $1.89. But anyway, and then if you go to the White Castle's, White Castle, <laughs> a veggie burger, oh, it doesn't say on here what the prices, but the total price of two veggie burgers, I think it was like two, like $1.99 or two twenty nine or something like that, but two veggie burgers with American cheese, a medium fry, and a medium Diet Coke. Did I get, oh, that was at Burger King. Oh, where's my White Castle? price tag. Oh, it's not on here. I don't have it. Well, anyway, it came to, I don't know. It was a lot. It was a lot for sliders, okay? Sliders. Do you ever go to restaurants like steakhouses and somebody gets sliders and the sliders are like $30? And are you you're like, are you crazy? Do you, you know you can get a box of White Castles at the grocery store, okay, in the fro frozen section for like $3? So anyway, here we go. Oh, and I need ketchup. Oh, no, I asked for ranch. She didn't even put my ranch in here from White Castle. Oh, my God. I can't. How are you supposed to eat french fries without ranch dressing? Well, I got some ketchup from Burger King. She boogered me. That makes me so mad. I probably paid for it too. How I don't even know because I don't have the receipt. Okay. So, let me put a little bit of ketchup on here. This veggie burger, this impossible burger, does not look very, very good. Okay. My dogs are barking inside. They're so hungry. They're like, can I see? If you don't like it, can we have it? Okay. Let's get right into this. Clear my palate. Mm. Clear my palate. Mm. Okay. I'm going to taste the Burger King veggie burger first. Now, I've had a lot of veggie burgers from... I don't want to keep you all waiting. I know you're excited. You're, like, so excited. You're on the edge of your seat for the taste of the veggie burger. You are, aren't you? You're on the edge of your seat. I can tell. Okay, no. But I've made my own veggie burgers at home. Morningstar, Boca Burgers, all that kind of stuff. The Dr. Prater's. Actually, there's one, and I can't think of what it's called, but it's called the Pub Burger. It's really, really good. Okay, but it doesn't taste anything like a cheeseburger. They don't any of them really taste like cheeseburgers. That's what I want. I want a veggie burger that tastes like a cheeseburger. So if we find it here, I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? That's pretty good, but it still tastes like a veggie burger. I don't hate veggie burgers. Like, I don't dislike them. I think it's pretty good, actually. Let me try some of their horrible fries. Um, yeah, I don't, the thing is, I don't hate the taste of a veggie burger. I really don't. It's okay, but you know, like, you can still taste the veggie burger in it. Now, I'm going to be real disappointed with White Castle if I taste it and taste like a veggie burger because it said on their menu, tastes just like a cheeseburger. So, I'm going to be, if it, that's a lie straight from the pit of hell, I'm going to be pissed. Okay. I mean, if I was really craving a cheeseburger, 
I would get the veggie burger from um, Burger King. But A, it doesn't taste like a Whopper, and she said it did. B, it tastes straight up like a veggie burger. I could make this at home. I could make this at home for, you know, whatever. But, I mean, sometimes you want fast food. <laughs> okay, let's try the impossible. Impossible. Let's try the impossible burger, right? <laughs> Well, that's pretty good. There's something about it, it's gonna sound so strange, that kind of tastes like bacon a little bit. Yeah. It has a very smoked flavor to it. You think so too? Do you hear that bird? She said, I think so too. Now, I do like White Castle french fries. Look at this mess I have created. Come over to my house for dinner. Guess what I'm cooking? Sliders. Um, this slider from White Castle is good. It's really good. Mmm. I mean, it's not as good as a slider slider. But if you gave that to me and I didn't know that it wasn't meat, I, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't guess that it was a veggie burger. Does that make sense? Like, if you like veggie burgers, that's fine. But this is like a Boca burger. I mean, it tastes exactly like... Like, Burger King's is so layered with, like, mayonnaise, you know, all this stuff on it, that it just tastes like anything else you would get at Burger King. Whereas, the burger from White Castle... <laughs> clean up as you go. Really holds its own, like, as a... Like, as a burger burger. It even smells like a burger. Yeah. So, on a scale of one to five, five being I love it, one being, ugh, can't stand it. The veggie burger from Burger King, I'm gonna give a 3.5. Like, if I really wanted a burger from somewhere fast food, like, it would hold its own if nothing else is open. But the other thing is, the other thing is, White Castles is open 24 hours. So if you have that craving, if you're craving a case, <laughs> did you see what I did there? Does he even say it on there? Oh, look what it says on the back of here. Sing your favorite duet with the person across from you. Oh my God, it's you. What should I sing? What's my favorite duet? No more tears. Enough is enough is enough. Okay, but anyway, like if you're really craving, see like, look. Oh, now, I'm making a bold move by getting the White Castle. We stand with all... Okay, anyway, bold moves. Usually it says if you crave case on here. I have to say, it, it falls apart like nobody's business. I mean, look, here's what happened to my burger in five minutes. Do you see? But it's really good. It's totally good. I mean, yeah. I would give the slider, the Impossible Slider from White Castle... 4.7. And it's really good. I would have it again. And in fact, I'm going to here in just a second when I have this second one. <laughs> now I've got all this food and it's 2.30 on a Friday afternoon and I'm not even that hungry and I want to have dinner with my husband later. I'm going to be like, he's going to be like, aren't you hungry? I'll be like, I'm veggied out. I'm totally veggied out. Anyway, I think you guys should try it and see what you think. If you have not tried the Impossible Burger, I mean this, listen, Burger King, this is not really a whole lot different. You could just fire this up in your kitchen, okay? You could buy the same bunch. You could get a veggie burger. You could put some ketchup and lettuce and mayonnaise on it. It's basically the same thing. I don't like tomato, but the tomato's okay. But this is like nothing. I, I haven't had anything like this before. This tastes, and maybe it's like, there's some kind of like, the cheese is supposed to be like some kind of smoked cheddar. I bet that's what the smoke taste is. But the cheese is really good on there too. I would give this a 4.7 and I would definitely try it again. So, there is my review. The veggie burger from Burger King is just okay. The Impossible Burger from White Castle, I think, takes the cake. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, I will be back tomorrow, or maybe Sunday, but it'll probably be tomorrow, with another review um, that I have kind of been planning all week long, so I'm real excited about that. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.